today we will be discussing about json json stands for javascript object notation the basics of json json is a lightweight text based data interchange format it is a completely language independent concept based on a subset of the javascript programming language json is defined it is very easy to understand manipulate and generate json objects why we are using json json is having a straightforward syntax it is very easy to create and manipulate json can be natively parsed in javascript using eval function that we will see in a program section it is supported by all major javascript frameworks supported by most backend technologies for example mysql dbms packages like sybase etc json is much like xml xml is having a particular hierarchical structure and it is in a plain text format so json is also having a plain text format and it is self describing so that human can easily understandable and it is having a hierarchical structure values can contain list of objects or other values that means a property is there then that is associated with a value so it is having a hierarchy and it is self describing we will get the meaning of this object or meaning of each and every attribute and its value from the json object definition itself but it is not like xml json is lighter and faster than xml json uses typed objects all xml values are typeless strings and must be parsed at run time on the other hand json uses typed objects json is having less syntax and no semantics properties are immediately accessible to javascript code now we will see json object syntax json is a collection of unordered set of name value pairs name and values are associated and they are pairs name value pairs begin with left brace and end with right brace so the value name value pairs will be enclosed in curly brackets that is left brace and right brace each name is followed by a colon and name value pairs are separated by using comma we will see one example here in json example we have created a json object with the name employee data var employee data equal to open curly bracket employee id in double quotes colon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 comma so that is a name value pair so name is employee underscore id it's a string name that is enclosed in double quotes and the value is an integer as it is an integer that is not enclosed in double quotes if it is a string value that should be enclosed in double quotes see the second line name colon jeff fox so name is a string and jeff fox is the value and that is a string value so it is enclosed in double quotes and name and values are joined together using a colon another comma is there for separating the name value pair from the other name value pairs and the third name value pair is higher date colon 1 slash 1 slash 2013 that is a date so that also considered as a string location norwa comma ct consultant colon false then closing the curly bracket so employee data object is created so that is having 
five name value pairs separated by using commas. Now we will see arrays in JSON. Array in JSON is an unordered collection of values. The values are enclosed in square brackets begins with left bracket and ends with right bracket name value pairs are separated by comma that means array values can be name value pairs also we will see one example there is a simple array is considered as the value for a name see in this json array example employee data object json object name is employee data so employee data object is created employee id colon one two three six nine three seven name jeff fox hire date a date is specified one one two zero one three location is norwalk tct consultant that is a false value all these name value pairs are almost same with the previous example and one another name value pair is included there we have used an array of values random underscore nums colon 24 65 12 94 so these four values are enclosed in square brackets so random numbers may be either 24 or 65 or 12 or 94 that depends on the program that calls that random numbers name so this is how arrays are inclu included in json object now we will see another example in this example looping through an array using a for in loop is implemented html tag is here body tag followed by a paragraph and comment is displayed here followed by another paragraph tag there specified id value id is equal to demo no contents are specified there then starts our script so in script variable my obj i and x are specified and x is initialized to md string my obj and i is not initialized my obj is the object here my obj equal to name colon john comma age colon 30 comma cars ford comma bmw comma fiat so car's name is having an array of values three different values are there in our array all are string values ford bmw and fiat so it's a json object my obj is a json object here three name value pairs are there and one value is an array after that we have implemented a for in loop for i in my obj dot cars so here my obj is the json object name and cars is the name so cars will be invoked cars array will be invo invoked on calling my obj dot cars here x plus equal to my obj dot cars of i plus br that means x that is an empty string that will get a value md string plus my obj dot cars of i i in my obj dot cars so first value cars of one cars of zero will be referred here so x will get a value for after a break another bmw value value will be attached to x then it will add a break or a new line then fiat will be added to x so no more values to loop through the array so array the control from array will exit and for loop execution will complete and my obj dot cars of i will display ford in the first line bmw in the second line fiat in the third line then that will be displayed using document dot get element by id demo dot inner html equal to x that means an element will be identified with the id demo there the content or value of x will be placed by using inner html property so script script ends here 
body ends and HTML tag ends here. So this will display Ford in the first line, BMW in the second line and Fiat in the third line. That is how looping through an array in JSON works. Nested array in JSON objects. Nested arrays are used in JSON objects. Here we will see how it works. Values in an array can also be another array or even another JSON object. We will see my obj is equal to three name value pairs are here name John age 30 and car is followed by a nested array. See here name colon Ford models Fiesta Focus Mustang. See the second name BMW and models are 320, X3, X5, etc. Third name value pair is name colon Fiat followed by model colon 500 panda so here it is a nested array because cars is it cars value is itself an array so inside the first element of this array that has a json object name colon ford co followed by models colon an array of values similarly for name BMW models are having an array of values for the third row or third name value pair name colon Fiat followed by models colon 500 panda so these three values are elements of an array that is the value of cars inside each element models value models name is having an array of values so this is how nested arrays are included in json here another json object is also considered or defined as array elements so this is how nested elements and json objects are considered as values in JSON creation, JSON object creation. Now we will see something about different data types. Strings first. Strings is a sequence of zero or more unicode characters wrapped in double quotes. Backslash is used for removing the special meaning of some of the special symbols like single quote, double quote, etc. Numbers is the second data type. Integer, real, scientific, etc. is considered. No octal or hexadecimal number system is allowed in JSON. No not a number or infinity. Instead, use null. Null is a predefined data type that means nothing or empty string or something like that boolean and null booleans are having two values true or false null a value that specifies nothing or no value then objects and arrays are there as data types objects unordered key value pairs wrapped in curly brackets and arrays ordered key value pairs wrapped in square brackets how and when to use json json is used to transfer data to and from a server it is used to perform asynchronous data calls without requiring a page refresh json works with data stores and it is also used to compile and save form or user data for local storage. We will see how sending data to a server using JSON 
with the help of a program. Sending data. If you have data stored in a JavaScript object, you can convert the object into JSON and send it to a server. So here JavaScript object is converted to a JSON object and sending that to a server. Let us see the program. We have HTML code, body tag, then a heading tag is there that informs the user convert a JavaScript object into a JSON string and send it to the server. So inside our script we have created my obj. My obj is a JavaScript object and that is having three name value pairs name John age 31 city New York and stringify method or function is used to create a JSON string so here my obj that is a J J JavaScript object that will be converted into a JSON string by using stringify function for that we will be using JSON dot stringify function so after converting that JavaScript object into a JSON string the string will be stored in my JSON variable then we have a window reference by using location property and that is equal to demo underscore json dot php plus my json so this is a location window dot location will give the server location and by using this property that is a php file demo underscore json dot php to that particular file that will be residing in server the value is attached my json string that is a json string value is attached to that particular code for storing that into a server now we will see receiving data suppose we are receiving data in json format json string format then that can be converted into a javascript object for that we will be using a function known as json.parse so parse is a function name here we will see that particular conversion with the help of this program so html body tags are here then a heading is there convert a string when uh, written in json format into a javascript object followed by a paragraph tag is there id is equal to demo here then in script and slash script tags we have my json my json is the object here it's a json format name colon john age colon 31 city new york suppose consider this is a javascript sorry json string then how we will convert it into javascript object see my obj is a javascript object here that is defined by using json dot parse my json so my json is the argument here that will refer to this particular string that is my json string name colon john age colon 31 city colon new york so that will be parsed into a javascript object by using parse method or parse function json dot parse is used here and that will be displayed by using inner html property of paragraph so document dot get element by id demo so this particular statement will find out an element with id is equal to demo and the content will be replaced by using the given value that is my obj dot name so here name is john my obj dot name will return john here and that value will be displayed in our p tag that's all this is how data is received we will see another example storing data when storing data the data has to be a certain format and regardless of where you choose to store it text is always one of the legal format json makes it possible to store javascript objects as text in this example we have html and body tag followed by a heading tag is there that 
shows the message store and retrieve data from local storage followed by a p tag with id is equal to demo in our script we have four variables my obj my json text and obj these are the variables first we will see how data is stored in local storage for that we are creating a javascript object my obj name colon john age 81 city new york see in the next statement my json is equal to json dot stringify my obj so that will create a string json string the argument is my obj that is a javascript object so javascript object will be converted into json string after executing stringify statement followed by local storage dot set item so here we are passing two values test json that is a reference name there in the local storage and the actual json string my json so these are the values so local storage will be having my json that is a json string here that is a converted javascript object into json string and the reference name is test json how that data is retrieved for that we will be again using local storage reference dot get item get item is the function here previously set item is used for storing the data into the local storage for retrieval of data get item is used so that is a function name followed by the reference name used for storing the previous data so test json is the reference name so get item function will search for the reference name in the local storage in the corresponding json string will be retrieved so then we need to parse that particular json string into a javascript object so here obj is equal to json dot parse text so text is equal to in the previous statement text is equal to local storage dot get item test json so the retrieved information will be available in text that is a variable name here so that is the value or argument given for parse function here so json dot parse will get an argument text that will contain my json string data so that will be converted into javascript object document dot get element by id demo dot inner html will set the obj dot age obj is the new javascript object after converting the retrieved json string into a javascript object obj is the reference or javascript object name here we have given so obj dot age will retain 81 here okay so that 81 will be displayed in the paragraph element here this is how storing and retrieval of data along with json is implemented in this program thank you